What's up, Collins crew? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to um, we're going to we're going to two grocery stores, and we're going to go in their international section. Yeah, and we are going to see what are the prices like. Is this what you would pay in Britain? Are the prices the same? Are the prices different? Are we getting ripped off here in the States when we buy your stuff from uh, across the pond? Or is it pretty similar? And what items do they have to offer? And hopefully we'll pick up some treats that we can try in later videos. But the two grocery stores we're going to, the first one we're going to go to is called Kroger's. Kroger's is everywhere. It's all across the U.S. If you ever come to the States for a vacation and you want a grocery store, Look for a Kroger's. There's probably one somewhere in that area. If it's not Kroger's, it's Publix. But they're pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. The second grocery store we're going to go to is H-E-B, -E which is one of my favorites. We're not going on a Sunday because we post on Sunday. But on Sunday, they did a lot of samples and different things where you can try out a bunch of their products. But H-E-B is amazing. So we'll show you a little bit of the grocery store of what H-E-B looks like also. But ATB is known to have pretty good international selections um, in their grocery store. The cheese section is fantastic. Tons of parts of the grocery store in ATB are great. The tortillas are fantastic. The guacamole is fantastic. Even the ready-to-go sushi there is fantastic. So we'll go in there. We'll see if that's the real deal. Or if it's all a hoax and they're just getting over on us here Americans in the U.S. Come along with us. Let's go get in the car and head to Kroger's and first. All right. So we've made it out to our local Kroger's. So Kroger's, like I said, is a pretty large chain here in the US and we're gonna check it out and see what the international section may have to offer. All right, so we're headed in to our local Kroger's and we're gonna see if they have what we want. Like I said, there's a typical grocery store. At least I think it's typical of what a grocery store looks like here in the US. But we're gonna see what their British section looks like as we go around the grocery store to see if they have as good of things as what you guys expect or would see. Okay, so we made a pit stop in the, what we might call a fancy cheese section. And Macy found what? I found an England cheese. Stilton. Mm -hmm. White Stilton with apricot. And then they have this Australian cheese. What? It's Australian. Mm -hmm. Australia. Oh, it says it's Australian. I guess okay. Technically in like the, all the oh yeah, because it does. It says it says England, UK, UK Ireland. Oh, here's another one. Another England. England. Here's another one. Some aged cheddar. Then you get around to this section. It's uh, oui, oui, Francais, 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 the Francais cheese. Oh, we're back to England. More Stilton. Is Stilton a popular cheese over there in England? Oh, we have Jim. All right, we're headed down to the next part of the grocery store and let's see if we can find any other interesting British or England delights. All right, we're gonna check this out because it says it's the international aisle and we're going to see if there's some international treasures down here that Kroger's may have to offer. All right, guys, so we found the British section here in Kroger's. They have a huge selection of wine gums. We did try these in the, in the US at $6.49. So I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price, but it's for 8.8 .8 ounces, so that's a lot in there. Uh, and it says traditional British sweets. So we do see that in here. 
Uh, the section is very, very small in Kroger's. Um, the cheeses, you definitely had more here. Uh, we did try these as well. The cream crackers, they're $3.49. They have one single solitary arrow chocolate bar, which is $1.49. And then... They have Marmite. Marmite. How much was the Marmite? Um, the Marmite is... Oh, um, Marmite... Uh, it's right here, but it doesn't yeah, say Yeah, $7.49. Oh, $7.49. And then I think I've heard you guys talk about salad cream before, and that's $7.99. They have the HP sauce for $8.99. I'm not sure what a cracked green olive is or if this is British at all. It may be. It may not be, but I've never heard and or seen it. I do see some iron brews down here hanging out, and they are $2.19 but it's not a ton. So if you see anything that we're not really used to seeing or you know something that maybe we're missing out on. Oh, there's the Yorkshire pudding mix. Does this stuff really work, guys? We want to try to make toad in a hole. I know that's something, it, they, I can't find it where they sell it at a restaurant here in Houston, but I would love to make it. Is this good or should I skip it and not buy that? And then original custard powder not really sure what that is oh well it's definitely British because it says on the hob and we don't call that that we call it the stovetop and then I've heard of Coleman's mustard from you guys and that's 349 and this is super cute don't know what kind of mustard this is but it's hot German mustard looks like super cute and then up here it says assortment of wafers oh this one sorry assortment of wafers this one says it's made in germany this one is also i guess a german brand so i think this section right here is basically just a mix of british and german treats all mixed together but if we miss something that we definitely should try you guys let us know down in the comments because we know you love to comment but yeah, this is the only section. And I'm going to show you how big this aisle is for this to be the only section of where you can get a few items that are British. The entire aisle goes way... Macy's running back. Macy's running back way... Back there. And that's all they got in this entire grocery store that is British. All right, let's go over to H-E-B and see what they have there. All right, so we've made it to our Texas best grocery store, H-E-B. And we're going to head on in there and we're going to see what's their international section have to offer or their British choice have to offer. Maybe you guys can leave some comments. Is our grocery store even close to what your grocery store normally looks like? Or do American grocery stores look completely different than what you're used to in British grocery stores from what we show you guys as little glimpses of the grocery store? All right, we're headed in. Of course, yes, the U.S., we're going to put a flag probably everywhere you can stick one or think about sticking one. But let's see. I've also been looking for what we call back bacon, but you guys eat us regular bacon because we're thinking about doing a video of British versus American bacon. Since your bacon has been so different, we want to kind of compare the two directly to each other. All right, so we're back at the cheese section again. Let's see if they have the cheeses that you guys may have. I think we saw the Westendale in the other one. Oh, I like some of these personally just to eat. Oh, cool. The Cotswold. I think that's in England, right? The Cotswold? Yeah, it's got the British flag on there. <laughs> Wexford. Barber's Vintage Reserve Cheddar. These are such small blocks of cheese for us, for Americans. I'm going to show you the, the cheese section where Americans mostly buy cheese. But if you ever say, do we have... Well, well, again, like we would call fancy cheese. Yes, of course we do. And this is where that would be. 
There's some more over here. Traditional Gouda. Ooh, smoked Gouda jalapeno. I bet that's delicious. And then your prepackaged deli stuff that you can get. Um, not sure if y'all get that like that, but we can get it. I usually put these in my fridge at work because I love that. Ooh, Mace, we've never tried this one. Buffalo wing hot sauce. They probably like Cheddar really cheese. That's an American for you. Take something that's not normal and make it be something that you love. Yeah. But this is also good. We buy these a lot when we have parties. Make the one, boards. yeah, when we make charcuterie boards. We buy those lots. Yep. Okay, remember I said I was gonna show you guys our cheese. So this is where most Americans come. They skip that whole fancy cheese area and they just come over here. A good baby bell cheese, nice little snack. But all of you that think we just have the orange cheese, wrong, we don't. We have tons of different kinds of cheeses. The American cheese is just what you see mostly on a cheeseburger, but there are other cheeses that exist in the US, contrary to popular belief. And we also, oh, we do sell clotted cream. There it is right there. Didn't know we sold clotted cream, but it's up there. And I, okay, that's new, double cream. What is that? Guys, remember the British tea video? This is what they put, this is what we put on our scones. And it was real, real good. I, the cottage cream was my favorite. Here's the only cheese you guys think we buy. The American cheese, quote unquote. This is what you think, this is it, this is all you think. But I've just proven you guys wrong in so many ways that we have tons of different types of cheese. America's selection of choice is insane. So when we say we have choice, our cheese section goes way down there. This is the shredded cheese down here. So we have lots and lots and lots and lots. And I'm not even at the end of the cheese section. Cheese section ends right about, nope, we have the string cheese. Sorry, still going, still going, still going. And the cheese stops about right here. So all the way from here, Macy, run back there, run. Run, 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 run. All the way back to where she's running. And then where that lady is standing back there around the corner, that's our cheese section. All right, guys, we found the international aisle. We're gonna go check it out and see how much of this is dedicated to good old England. Okay, H-E-B comes through again, much better. Look at that, those are the McVitie's hobnobs up there. I don't know, are these like the traditional baked beans that you guys like, or is that a brand that's not necessarily popular? And then they have the, that looks delicious. Those are $5.98, that's not too bad. Oh, you guys keep telling us to try these Jaffa cakes. I see these. Wanna try some Jaffa cakes, Macy? Yeah. Okay, let's grab a pack of those. I don't know, I've never heard of fingers. Fingers, cookies, Cadbury fingers. Well, they're, probably, see. they're probably a Cadbury chocolate with just like, probably like a cookie inside of them. Yeah, probably just a cookie inside. We've tried the Jamie Dodgers, we've had these before. We eat these, we eat these regularly. Like, these are good. After eight. These look like what they used to sell at Luby's. That's a big box, though. So I don't know if I want to try that. And then rich tea. Okay. Highland oat crackers, whatever those are. Okay, down at the bottom, they have the Ribena, they have some Heinz tomato. And they have the Heinz beans. We've eaten those before for sure. Oh, wow. Interesting. Squeezy original curry sauce. Some more iron brew, some HP sauce. What in the heck is an icon? Never heard of that. Uh, milky bar. I think I. And then some arrow again. Another type of fruit cum, gum, excuse me. And then these, what are these? Wine gum again. Lion. Lion? Is that a candy bar? I guess it is. Coffee crisp? We have coffee crisp, but it's a cereal, not that. And then arrow chocolate again, arrow peppermint. Fruit paste. What? Fruit? No. You missed half the word right here. Yeah. Fruit past pasties, pasties, I guess. I don't know. Then they have bisto, I guess. For beef. Okay, interesting. Oh, shepherd's pie. That's a we eat a we eat shepherd's pie. That's not necessarily British, is it? We eat shepherd's pie. We make those for dinner sometimes. 
Shepard. Then back in the back, they have the Robinsons Apple and Black Current. So again, let us know if these prices are good prices or if they're overpriced in us guys. But here is the British section here in HEB. It definitely does have more options. Oh, there's Mushy Peas way. There's Mushy Peas way up there. Missed those, didn't see those at all. Berries tea, is that a good tea? Bad tea, don't know. But tons of little yummy treats, hopefully they're good prices, but you know. Oh, I also think Milka is something that you guys do too, right? Don't they do Milka, Macy? Yeah, they have all different types okay, of Okay, so they have different flavors of Milka, looks like in here. Uh, this Milka here is three eighty eight, and they have the Milka Triple Choco Choco. And they have this the, one. Uh, this Milka. Uh, and then they have a strawberry one. Or is this German? This is strawberry. Probably. Because I can't read it anymore, so I think it may be German. Who knows? Right. Erd beer. Erd beer. Maybe. Oh, it is German. Cause look. We're back to the German stuff that we saw, like we saw in Kroger. Got it. Okay. But interesting. Well, guys, that's been our adventure in American grocery stores looking at British snacks and treats that you can find here in a local American grocery store. It's not a lot, but you can find some of your classic British favorites. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. We post every single Sunday. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.